Hey, you're watching something to talk about. Happy New Year to you. 2013 is going to be a great year. I do want to apologize to all of my faithful viewers for not um, taping for the past couple of months. So I do apologize, but I'm back in action and uh, we have some really great, exciting things for this new year. We've got some really cool topics coming up, got some guest speakers lined up and all of that good stuff. So please, please continue to tune in and watch something to talk about. On today, I'm going to talk about the proverb, Proverb 22, 6. It says, train up a child in the way he should go. And guess what? It doesn't say guess what, but I'm saying guess what to you. When he is old, he will not turn from it. Other version says that he will not depart from it. Train up a child in the way that he should go. And when he gets old, he will not turn from it. I was on set the other day in Maryland. And I was working with a child actor. She was two years old. Adorable. And everyone, I played her mom um, and the producer, director, and her actual mother, everyone was trying to get her to eat some cantaloupe. And this little girl was just not feeling the cantaloupe. So we were like, eat the cantaloupe, sweetie. Eat the cantaloupe. And she was looking at us like we were crazy. But it wasn't until her mother walked over next to her and picked up some cantaloupe, put it in her mouth, and ate it herself, did the little girl then look at her mom. She then looked back at the cantaloupe and began to eat the cantaloupe. At that moment, I got so full and had to remind myself to just to stay in character. But I got full because I realized that children, it's not so much that they're, they're doing what they, they hear, but they're really doing what they see. And it's so important for parents, for teachers, for aunts, grandmas, godmothers, godfathers to remember that this whole mindset of do what I say, not as I do, does not work. Children do what they see. And so I just really want to encourage you, if you're a parent, if you have children in your life, to remember that to train up a child, training means to instruct, to teach. It's really hard to teach and instruct something that you're not doing yourself. And it's so funny because a lot, everybody wants their child to be good and you want your child to grow up knowing the things of the Lord or, you know, be good citizens. Uh, the important thing is to remember that you have to be a good citizen in order to show your child how to be one. And if you want your child to be respectful, you be respectful. If you want your child to honor God, you honor God. If you want your child to, to really have a hunger and thirst for righteousness, well, the best person to show them that is you. So I, I just really want to charge you. No, I'm not a parent. But one day I will be, and I do love children, and, I, and my heart really goes out to kids because I think sometimes we treat them like second-class citizens. But we have to look at our Savior, and when he was presented with children, the disciples were trying to push them away, like, no, don't let, don't let Jesus be bothered with the children. He said, no, let him come to me. That's the mindset that our Savior has about kids. And so where we got it twisted, I don't know, but children are human beings, and we really have to... Remember that what we're instilling in them, what we're showing them, is going to affect them in the future and the whole wide world. You have the opportunity to mold and shape a human being. And uh, I think that's honestly the best job and the most important job in the whole wide world, to shape another person. Are you serious? So um, really, really take your job seriously, um, whether you're a parent, a guardian, if you're um, you know, just mentoring someone, whatever time that you have with a child, make sure that you make them feel important and that you really see the responsibility that you have as an adult to show a little person how to be a good big person and most importantly, how to be a God-like big person. So I just want to encourage you with that to remember that to train means to teach and it's hard to teach something that you're not living yourself. So, hey, just want to encourage you to uh, to keep that in mind. And when you see a kid tomorrow, today, whenever you watch the show, look at them differently and really take time with them, love on them. And I feel like we have so many negative things in our world that it's important to, to take moments with kids to show them some positive things. So do your job. I uh, just want to tell you that. And I also just want to remind you, I know that we had... Christmas and we had so many great gifts and spent time with family. It was wonderful. But we already have the best gift in the whole wide world and that is salvation. Jesus Christ died on the cross for us, but it didn't stop there. He rose with all power, all authority. 
authority. And if we accept him as our savior, we have that power too. His spirit resides on the inside of us. And that is the greatest gift, the best news in the whole wide world. And I pray that you share it with little people, big people, every person. Tell them the good news because that is something to dance about, something to sing about, something to laugh about, and definitely something to talk about. God bless you and I'll see you next time.